Hey, ladies and gents, this is Izdawiz here with a review of the Sons of Quetzalcoatl set designed by yours truly and Jason Demon Rodriguez, the Mexican 3D sculptor that they call the demon because he creates art like a man possessed. And since I have an obvious conflict of interest, I brought in a guest reviewer. Hello. Kirkeen, say hello. I guess you already have. Hello. So um, come here closer so the mic can pick you up. This figure, have you ever seen it before? Uh, no. Well, the reason well, you have... maybe I have, like, variations of it. Well, this is a figure that I helped design and that was 3D sculpted. It's a kit that people can use to make this guy... Uh, it's pretty cool. It was the sons, the cool. sons of Quetzalcoatl. And um, what's special about this is that it, it comes unpainted. But I had a famous customizer by the name of Nikki Nicole Cheney um, paint it up for me. And the reason I chose her is not only is she a very, very well-known customizer in the Mythic Legions community, but she's a, a trained herpetologist. Do you know what a herpetologist is? I don't know. It sounds terrible. Herpes. <laughs> no, it is, <laughs> it is. It is not someone who I studies know. herpes. Okay. I do know that. Yes. It's not like your sister, the infectious disease doctor, who's your sis, Phyllis, who, who studies infectious. Herpetologist is somebody who studies snakes. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured since this was a feathered serpent, who better to paint the original prototype than a trained herpetologist? I do like the painting. She it did. It looks really good. I think she did I an like amazing job. So, yeah. um, you know, you're here to provide sort of an objective view of this because obviously since I helped design it, I'm not objective. So let's take a closer look at it and I'll point out some things. All right, here he comes. Okay, so. I do like the color scheme. I like it. I think it was it kind of quite unique. Of green, turquoise, and red. And the other thing that makes yeah. uh, Nikki Nicole Cheney's unique. Looks very nice. Uh, they call her the queen of Mythic Legion's customizers. is because she's one of the few women I like who do this. the weapon. Like the, the detail on the weapon yeah, is really cool. So maybe you can talk yeah. a, a little bit about her color choices because I think some of them are pretty unique. Yeah, let's let's show that to the folks. But um, as you can see, it's got like a turquoise. Yeah, it looks really nice. Does it, it doesn't look like kind of like a stone or something. Mm -hmm. um, and I would have never thought, hey... Let's make the um, this weapon, which is a Mahuero, it's an Aztec sword, uh, make that turquoise, and then make the rest of it gold. Okay. But it really, really pops. It looks and, really good. And I think that's something that, you know, is unique about her color choices. Um, so that was a beautiful. And then this is, mm -hmm. you know, the classic colors for mm -hmm. Quetzalcoatl, which are green mm -hmm. and red. <clears throat> um, and since he's the sons of Quetzalcoatl, that makes it. But that I thought that was a really, really yeah. It looks really nice. I I actually like that, and the of course the helmet. All right. Well, the helmet. The helmet looks really good. Ooh, I, I like the heart too. Ooh, <laughs> it's building a heart. I am very, very proud of the helmet because that's kind of what differentiates him as a Quetzalcoatl knight. Yeah. Now. It's not historically accurate because there weren't Quetzalcoatl knights, as far as I know, back in the Aztec days. But um, it's an important deity, and they had jaguar knights, and they have eagle knights, and Jason Rodriguez has designed those. But um, the other thing that I thought was unique really cool too. was the color that she chose for the feathers. I'm not sure what color yeah. that would be, that kind yeah. of purplish but I think it really makes it pop. And I just... I like the two colors. It's like a red and a kind of reddish. Purple. Right. And and I would have never it's thought nice. that those two colors would go together. Yeah. Like in a million years. Yeah. Um, she just has such a great eye 
for color yeah, and make some really good decisions. Cool. And so, I really do like that. What? Like the on the shoulders. The, uh, These are called pauldrons. Yeah, the pauldrons are really neat. Um, yeah. I'm proud of those too. I really like this design that Jason added in on the sides, all that oh, detail. He's bird biting his arm. And the. <laughs> yeah, he's eating its head. This, this would be a ceremonial type of armor because obviously if you yeah. fought in it, it cool. would probably stab you a little bit, but it looks super cool. The other thing actually uh -huh. that I like too is like this part and that. All right. Well, let me, yeah, let, let me tell you about, this is a, a unique torso that, um, Jason designed. So I, and it looks really nice with it, with, I like the red, with that red yeah. jewel there in it's the really center. Mm-hmm. And I'm really glad you like it because you're not generally uh, that I know interested. Nothing about figures or toys. <laughs> it looks really cool. Yeah, I like so, the color scheme. Yeah, the, uh, the patterns. So let's. It's so, very intricate. Yeah. So let me show you what parts um, came from the Mythic Legions figures: the upper arms, right, and the upper legs. This I took off a McFarlane Kotal Khan mm -hmm. figure, so I took that that loincloth oh, okay. off of another figure yeah, I, I like that. and That's sort of appropriated cool. it and it fits absolutely perfectly mm -hmm. but um this little dagger here mm -hmm. is a, a unique weapon that we designed so it's mm -hmm. got that kind of serpentine mm -hmm. design to it and then it's got a couple of deities on it like mm -hmm. it's got Quetz uh, a little uh deity with the quetzalcoatl head on the top and just look at the intricacy of those details the 3D printer just oh, yeah, really cool. does an amazing job yeah. picking up those little details. Yeah. I mean, the, that technology has come really, really far. Look at that. Yeah, I pretty so. much need a magnifying glass to see that. <laughs> yeah, but it is really cool when you can see yeah. all that. I didn't even notice all that detail. Yeah. So uh, there's interesting cape, too. There's that. Okay, well, let me tell you about the cape. But okay, so that so we made these. Um, this this is part of a another Jason Rodriguez set. I think mm -hmm. it fits really nicely. These and the feet also really nicely. Yeah. And then if you look at what Nikki did, she even painted the toenails. It looks oh, like oh really yeah, on the that's feet. Right. Oh my old eyes. And I'm like, I don't know if a guy would have done that, but I love that oh, attention to detail. That's pretty cool. And just you know the 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 turquoise there um and just really uh, the only the only direction i gave her was i wanted to kind of she painted nails too yeah she painted the toenails I mean, the, the, the fingernails i don't know no i think those are just but but she painted the toenails um and the only like direct the color of the heart too it's like a really deep red yeah this I is it's the same as that one which is really right nice. so um this is a hand that was designed by Jason, and obviously it's got a heart uh, on it as part of a sacrifice. So, so that and then the cape is not a piece designed by Jason. That's something I added. I went to yes, Target. I, I went aware. to Target. Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if your son told you, but I bought some. Uh, I did not buy that. <laughs> I bought some Jaguar I print panties. Did not. Not a. There's nothing wrong with that. No, I'd be too embarrassed to buy that. Really? Well, just imagine if you're a guy and you're standing in line buying these. So, um, with their son, who's going like, "What? What are those for?" But these were these were five dollar panties. That's and, expensive. And I, <laughs> I for that. They're high end panties. They're not low end panties. No, it's not like Victoria's Secret. But for five bucks, I bought a cape. And usually, you know, I made it into a cape. And usually, when you buy a cape like this, a soft cape, a panty cape, a panty cape, you cape of panties. I, okay, the re the reason it looks so, um, I thought it was so good was because the leopard spots or jaguar spots, yes, okay, are the right size. Mm -hmm. So. And I, I thought that added a lot to it. So I think it was called Auden, A-U-D-N was the brand. Yeah. yeah. So I bought a whole bunch of those panties, I'm actually. I went, buy those. Okay, look, nobody cares, okay? So just <laughs> keep it quiet. Whatever. <laughs> but but anyway, I, I, 
I Love bought it. this. It's very cool. Doesn't it look cool? I yes, think it looks cool. it is very cool. I do like that shield on the side that you were touching. That's la very nice. Last but not least, we made him. very, very nice. Kids like color shield. scheme. Yeah. And that's yeah. another color scheme that I would have never thought of. Gosh, you can make that into a pendant. Wow. You, you, that's pretty cool. So look at that. She painted yeah, all that. It's very nice. Amazing. The and, stuff in the back is really cool, too. Though. And I would have never thought of that um, sort of turquoise incorporating the light purple and the turquoise i would have never thought of but i just told nikki you know i want the color scheme to kind of match the is ramirez figure the quetzalcoatl is ramirez figure so she took the golds and the greens and the and the red from that and then after that she just you know did her own thing and i just think it it looks amazing i i do like all the the ones that are painted in the back too those are really well, that's the cool thing about Jason Rodriguez is that he's been designing these Aztec designs and just pumping them out like crazy. And you can buy them at, you know, Dusk Till Dawn Studios if you're in Canada or at Noble Bear. Remember, we went to uh, Needle in Colorado and talked to Anthony Velas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he heads Noble Bear. And that's where you can get the kit to make uh, yeah, Quetzalcoatl. Really so um, for me, obviously, because I'm a big fan of Aztecs, this is a, a dream come true to get to collaborate on a project like this. Um, I really love the way it came out. And obviously, if you like it, I mean, you've got... Yeah, you highly, got the you, you have a highly developed sense of aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. This was, the, this was the greatest figure in my collection, I would say. The Holy Grail in my collection. Oops. Ah! Before, before, before this guy. Um, and it's still, you know, oh, wait. he's got a bleeding heart. He's a bleeding heart. Yeah. Ew, and he's got blood on his body. Yeah, this figure was a custom one of a kind figure oh, that's pretty cool. made by a guy in Germany called uh, Kevin Delees of Jim Panzen Productions. And so he's I bought I bought that in PowerCon. And so this has been like the ultimate um, custom figure in my collection and i you know it's obviously um Can very very back. cool yeah check this out so he sculpt yeah, no, he sculpted all those details including the leopard cape he didn't make he it out of panties scary he sculpted it and he painted oh, a lot better he than hand panties hush he hand sculpted it but the thing is it doesn't move right but um, yeah, it's still one of my favorite. But I no, think I like I like actually how he did the cape. But, but I think really the cool nice. thing is very nice. The cool thing is that anybody can either three D print this or buy this from a three D printer, and they don't have to have a you know somebody in German no, Germany specially green. sculpt and paint you know their figure for them. I like that green color. So it's a little bit of mass production there. Very nice. So uh, yeah, well done. Yeah, so. I, I love the way these go together. Obviously, my favorite figure of all time is this Ramirez because it's named after me. Uh, When's my but, figure coming? <laughs> I don't know, Four Horsemen. When is her figure coming? <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the Keen figure. The, yeah, when, when is I? I've actually uh, you know sent him some art by Nate Barch that he did of you. So maybe yeah, maybe that was like one 15 day. Fifteen years ago. I know, but you got to be patient about these things. Um, and, and, uh, you would fit, you would fit right in, but, um, we'll see. We'll, we'll keep waiting for that. Got to get that trend of the female, you know, action figure, action hero in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do, but for now, um, Very nice. our best bet may Very be to cool. get Jason to, to, to incorporate a Chinese, uh, into Aztec mythology. Ooh, I like that. You like it? Yes. All right, we'll see what we can do. So, yeah, so there it is. Um, the Sons of Quetzalcoatl set, painted, custom painted by the Queen of Mythic Legions uh, customizers. I want to, she actually rushed this through so we could do the big reveal um, on the day that we had the interview with Jason. Um, I'm looking forward to so much more good stuff from Jason. And if you guys want to pick this set up and uh, you can paint them up however you want, you know, um, you can make... I want one. <laughs> All right. We'll see. What, we'll see what we can do. But um, we can we can paint them up. You can paint them up however you want. 
and and put him in your collection because he's like he's definitely near and dear to my heart the crown jewel available now at um noblebearcustoms.com so is do signing out sign up say goodbye bye